Hello, welcome to a Scratch My Pie video. Um, today I'm going to show um, Scratch sorting out four, 15, 49 numbers between 1 and 100,000. And it's going to use it using the bubble sort algorithm. I'm going to just press spacebar. Being flag possible. Then press spacebar. Basically, it's just now generated um, 49 numbers between up to 100,000 in totally random order. When I press A, the time should go to zero, and these numbers should start changing. You want to watch N1 and N2. Basically, the bubble sort, it takes the first two numbers, and then... If they're the same, if they're in the right order, they stay. If they're in the wrong order, they change place. Then it moves along one, checks those two. If they're the same, stay in the same place. If not, change round. Keeps on going. Um, yeah, please watch the numbers. Let's explain what's going on. So here press A, and it started. So it's gone through it once, gone through it twice. The check is basically um, checking every time it does a swap that number changes. Um, six steps so far. Um, time is 24 seconds. Now on the Arduino, you can do this much faster um, on a computer, but obviously in Scratch program, it's limited by how fast it can work. Um, but it's still quite impressive though. So there's 49 numbers. So we've had 15 run throughs so far, 16 run throughs. And you should see the run through time get quicker as there's less, um, as there's less numbers to swap round. Thirty checks so far. Thirty six steps, thirty six run throughs. Forty run throughs. Did it in 117 seconds, so just under two minutes. And we'll just check that by going through another in order. Um, it took 44 steps to do. Um, 380. Well, it's not it goes up there, goes up there, all the way down to um, 98,796. Um, the code. So the first bit of the code here. Um, this is where the random numbers is picked, random 1 to 10, 100,000, and it inserts it in a um, particular spot. The checking code is just here, which I'll put this on my, my website. It basically, it defines, I um, can't quite remember, oh, this is, this is the code here, where N1 and N2, and this code here tells us basically what numbers to check. I call it Dell, I can't remember why I call it Dell, but the point is checking one and checking two, if that's more than swap, if not, and the key thing is changing check by one. Um, so I just sat down with a, with a pen and paper and trial and error, and um, and there we go. Quite complicated code, a bit hard to do in a, in a school, in a primary school, but you can act it out quite easily. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, take care, thanks, bye bye. Okay, hi, and welcome to a Scratch My Pie video. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating today a sorting algorithm. Um, this just run through, 
And so here, I've got a whole list of numbers that have been sorted from 380 all the way up to 9796. That took 117.182 seconds. So I'm going to press green flag to restart it and press space bar. And now it has reset everything back to zero, back to back to random order. And I press A now. Time not changed. That's the last time. That's full time. Um, so what it's doing is going through, and every time it sees a pair of numbers, it swaps them or keeps them in the same place depending if they're in the order. Then there's the next pair, move along one next pair, move along one next pair, move along one next pair, and so on to get to the end, and then redoes it. Um, it keeps check of how many it's um, how many it's checking of how many times it swaps around. When there's no more swaps around, it's um, it's done it and it's fine. So, so far it's on 12 checks through. Um, there's 50 numbers there. Uh, the Dell is a way of keeping track of where it's going down, and the check is a way of how many times it swaps around. So it's got to beat 117.182 seconds from last time. Will it do it or won't it do it? I'll stop talking. Watch what happens. It's not as fast as, say, an Arduino or something like that, but it is still pretty fast considering it's Scratch. Um, and it's a fun program. Um, or oh, three seconds ago, can it do it? It's got a bit more than 17. 28 steps. Oh, 93.92 seconds, now 18 seconds, um, and there we go, beginning 500 all the way up to 98.5 at the end. Um, check is 48, so that works with a number, 48 swaps and that was it, I'll put it in order and that's fine. Um, I look at the code, but it's quite hard to go for the code. Essentially, we're looking at here, if number one's bigger than N2, then you replace it in a list. If um, it's not, you don't replace it. Um, it's me moving things along. Um, I'm going to do it again and see if I can uh, beat that. I'm just going to just put in, I'm going to stop everything. I'm going to stop that. I'm going to put in data, just set time to zero. So that we just go to here. Right. So I'm going to make it big. Press green flag. Press space bar to sort them. Press A. We've got to beat 93 seconds. Go. It's very exciting. And the fun thing about Scratch is that once you've done it's very visual of all the numbers. And you can also as well get the get the cat to um, like, the, like the way you can see the sorting out the number list and also I like the way the um, the cat um, can interact with everything. Uh, so this is called the bubble algorithm. It's not the most efficient algorithm but it does work though. And also it can, it can also act this out in class as well if you want to. Forty-seven seconds, fifteen run-throughs. You'll notice the steps appear. The time difference gets faster as you start doing more and more steps. Just goes through a lot quicker sorting out. Seventy, it's ninety-three to beat. Ninety two or not as fast as last time. Hundred seconds. Ninety 
in 10 seconds, slower this time. I think it's nearly done. 121.6 seconds. Um, okay, that's pretty impressive. Thank you for watching and uh, catch up with you later. Bye.